In this module, we'll be discussing inflammation. Inflammation is a series of molecular and cellular responses to an injurious stimulus. The primary function of the inflammatory response is to eliminate a pathogenic insult and remove injured tissue components, thus allowing tissue repair to take place. There are two main types of inflammation. First is acute inflammation. This type is rapid in onset and of shorter duration. The most commonly involved cells with acute inflammation are neutrophils. In the first century AD, the Roman encyclopedist Aulus Cornelius Celsus described the four cardinal signs of inflammation. The first was rubor, or redness. This is due to the dilation of blood vessels. The second is tumor, or swelling. This is due to an accumulation of fluid in extravascular space. The third is calor, or heat. This is due to the increased blood flow. The fourth is dolor, or pain. This is due to mediators, such as burdikinin. In the 19th century, German physician Rudolf Virchow added functiolasa, which means loss of function. Now let's talk about the second type, chronic inflammation. Some types of injury trigger sustained immune and inflammatory responses if injured tissue and foreign agents are not cleared. Such persistent responses are called chronic inflammation. Compared to acute inflammation, it is of longer duration and slow in onset. The cells most commonly involved with this type are lymphocytes, plasma cells, and macrophages. It should be noted that it's common for acute and chronic inflammatory responses to coexist.